And the question is, how are we going to improve their ATP generation? How are we going to improve their mitochondrial function? How are we going to get those, their neurons to start responding properly? That's the question. And do you aim at stress as part of the solution? Yes, of course. You have to. How can you not? Let me give you another uh, cl quick clinical vignette. Recently, I uh, had the opportunity to have a, an extended conversation with um, a hero of mine, Dr. Vivek Murthy, who was the former Surgeon General of the United States. And we were in London together. And I finally sat him down and I said, you know, Vivek, I love your, you know, uh, espousing of love that we ultimately need to love each other to get over these uh, systemic societal travails, that, we, that, that love is what's missing. Here's the problem. You can't love if your brain is inflamed. You can't love if you— You can't love if your brain is inflamed. Of course, the reason for the inflamed brain is the ultra-processed food and all the things we talked about, the reactive oxygen species, the cortisol, et cetera, that we talked about before. So are you saying people that are metabolically unhealthy, that are, have inflamed brains, that are under stress, have a reduced ability to love? Yes. That's exactly what I'm saying. They can't love themselves and they can't love anyone around them.